Today is Friday, October 13th, and this is Citrus TV Now. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Ronnie Perillo. Well, we have elections coming up in just a few weeks, but nobody is running for president, governor, or Congress. This year is only for the local races, including on the county level, where Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon is hoping to win another four years in office. We caught up with him on the campaign trail. Here's what he had to say. You're up for re-election. How do you feel the campaign's going? What do you want young voters out there who are watching? You're up for re-election. How do you feel the campaign's going? What do you want young voters out there who are watching to know? Yeah, I think overall, you know, we're pleased with the campaign, and uh, I, lo I love a campaign. Uh, a former athlete, I like a good, good competition. But really, this race is different, because this re race is really about the past four years and the vision moving forward. It's about performance. It's about leadership. Now, McMahon's race is relatively unique because he has an opponent. Democrat Bill Kinney is also seeking the job. But if you look further down the ballot, you'll find fewer contested races. The Syracuse Post Standard wrote this week that, quote, more elections are uncontested for top races with just a single candidate on the ballot than perhaps any time in the past 60 years. So joining us now to discuss all of this is the Democratic co-chair of the Onondaga County Board of Elections, Dustin Zarni. Dustin, thank you so much for joining us today. So what is your reaction to all of these unopposed candidates? So we have two different forces that are really making this uh, a unique year where we're not having opposed candidates. Polarization and gerrymandering. Inside the city of Syracuse, we have a large amount of Democrats that has made it very polarizing and make it very hard for Republicans to win office inside the city of Syracuse. Outside the city of Syracuse, especially in the Onondaga County Legislature, we have a gerrymandered map that makes it harder for Democrats to run in suburban seats and harder for Republicans to run in urban seats. So we're seeing less competition there as well. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. The deadline to register to vote in New York State is October 28th. Now, before we move on, why is it so important for these young people, college students, to get out to the polls this November? Well, these local elections actually have way more effect on your life than any other election that you may vote on. The way your apartment is zoned, the, the code enforcement, the road repair, the taxes that you pay every time you buy uh, a soda or anything like that, that's all determined at the local level. So really, these elections that are happening in these odd years are more important to you on a daily basis. Awesome, Dustin Zarni, thank you so much. When we come back on the now, Willie Evans has your weekend weather. Stay with us. Not that hard. My big man fingers are having a problem with these little tiny buttons. <laughs> Whoa, watch it there. Your blood pressure's gonna go through the roof. Tell me about it. I'm trying to learn how to get it down. Instead, it keeps going up. High blood pressure can increase the risk for heart attack or stroke. Learn how to keep yours at a healthy range. Ever hear a voice command? Just say, text barbershop to 97779. That's not what I said. Just give me that. Now my blood pressure's up. <sighs> hey, welcome back to the Citrus TV Now. Taking a look at our weather right now, 54 degrees. It's actually quite a beautiful day out there. Some clouds, but the sun is peeking through. Campus is really quiet. I was walking through it just enjoying those little bits of sunshine that I was feeling as I was walking through campus. And taking a look at our weekend weather, well, the slide's not popping up, but that's okay because I remember because I'm good like that. Well, we have 50 degrees-ish tomorrow, a little bit warmer, and then 54 on Sunday. It's good, looking like it's going to be a really nice weekend. Some clouds, ah, there we go. We got it. That beautiful picture that I took of campus the other evening. 56 on Saturday, 54 on Sunday with some clouds, so make sure to dress warm this weekend. Ronnie, back to you. All right, Lily, well, thank you so much. And we wanted to uh, thank J Dustin Zarni again for coming in today. Now, to find a place where you can, you know, cast your vote early, you can go to the Onondaga County Board of Elections website. And that is our show. Thank you so much for coming, and thank you for watching. If you're viewing us online, be sure to like and share this video, also on X. The news continues in one hour with Ben Schiller and Zach Richter with coverage on Israel, plus a report about Q's football tomorrow. I'm Ronnie Perillo and have a great weekend, Syracuse.